The Okanagan Mission Secondary AA Boys Rugby finished their regular season undefeated with a 7-0 record. They then went on to clinch the Valley Championships and go into the Provincials ranked 6th. There they suffered their only loss but still managed to place 5th in the province. Not only was that the highest finish for rugby in OKM's history, it was the highest finish for any school in the Okanagan. We have some very, very good rugby players um, that, that obviously step up and do a fantastic job. Add to that the technique, which is um, us as coaches putting into plan um, some of the theories and practices of improving skill, improving contact work. The third aspect, which I think a lot of teams don't have a handle on, is the tactical side of things. We implement a game plan and a strategy for how we want to play against each team. Um, so quite often this year we would have played against teams that on paper maybe had better athletes. Um, and traditionally had maybe done better than us, but we'd done our homework and combined that with the work rate and the talent we have. Um, I wouldn't say we overachieved, but I think it was an eye-opener for the rugby community in the interior and in the lower mainland. Keep driving, keep driving, keep driving, keep driving. Keep driving. OKM's coaching staff have been around the game for many years and are quite satisfied with the team's performance. The great thing about our team has been the contribution of, of everybody on the team. Um, you know, everybody has worked very hard, 1 through 15, and the guys that have come off the bench. But obviously in those tight games, there's no getting away from the fact that if you have one or two superstars that can really bust the game open, uh, they're invaluable. One of the players who stood out was Captain Sam Overton. His level of physicality, especially at the Valley level, is something that a lot of teams find very hard to, to play against. And when you have someone like that on your team that's giving you so much go-forward ball, it's very easy then for the rest of the players to get in behind him and generate quick ball. Start of the season, it was quite difficult you know without much of a structure and without like much of a technical aspect of the game we really had to work hard for our wins but towards the end of the season it just flowed naturally and everything we did you know we felt like a rugby team and it was great in the BC championships hooker Andrew Barr scored an unheard of seven tries in just four games Andrew is exceptionally strong and fit and fast, um, but the position he plays in hooker is, uh, is generally reserved for, for bigger guys. So I, I think a lot of people misinterpret that when they see him in the hooker spot that he's going to be a weak link and far from it. He's probably pound for pound one of the strongest athletes I've ever coached. Um, he brings with that a tremendous amount of technique. His uh, throwing into the line out is superb. His work rate around the park is superb. His body position going into contact with and without the ball is superb. And uh, certainly um, at the BC Championships, his, uh, his level of performance was an eye-opener for schools um, all around the province. Especially just by graduating this year, it was pretty good to, to like, end the season off with, like, with, like, with that win, like that, uh, that place in Provincials, to like, set, the, set the bar. <laughs> so it was pretty good. Okay, ready? Ah! Get a black, get a black. Set up a point. Set up a point. Overton and Barr look to carry on their rugby careers in the Caribou and then possibly join the Kelowna Crows. For more information on the Okanagan Mission Secondary Rugby Team, go to okm.sd23.bc.ca. From Kelowna for Shaw TV, I'm Greg Truman.